The Electric Car Coalition, eight states, including New York and California, are teaming up to help push electric cars onto consumers. The state's goal is to boost e-car sales past $3 million by 2025. But judging by the fact that only about 50,000 were sold last year, they have a long road to go. Is this the charge that will make the change? Here to debate the electric car controversy. Lauren Fix, the car coach and energy advocate, Tyson Slocum is with us as well. Uh, Lauren, let me start with you. Good idea, bad idea? I think it's a bad idea because you know what's going to happen is you're finding that consumers are not buying these cars right now with only 22,000 volts and about that many Nissan Leafs being sold. You're seeing that customers don't want it. There's range anxiety involved. They have not developed the battery that much. Plugging in is inconvenient. It's sort of like running around with your cell phone saying, I need an outlet. Okay. But in addition to that, the infrastructure is still a problem. But, but Tyson would say this is, a, this is supposed to solve all the things you just said, that if drivers exactly. have range anxiety... What you have to do is give them stations. Go ahead, Tyson. I don't want to argue for you. Yeah, there aren't <laughs> enough plug-in stations. There are some infrastructure challenges. Government has a long history of being involved in the transportation infrastructure business. And this is low-cost initiatives being announced by these eight states. Mm -hmm. It's just coordinating basic things. Uh, so there isn't a whole lot of taxpayer money involved, but there's a lot of benefit to having more fuel diversity in our transportation sector. Anything to shield more and more drivers okay, Tyson, from fluctuating I, I would buy oil that, prices would be a good here's, thing. Here's the problem. They tried this yeah. already. I mean, the, the Department of Energy, the Inspector General, came out with a report from California. They spent $100 million to Ecotality was the name of that company. You remember this scandal? Right. So they gave the money to this company in order to build these charging stations. The la sa exact same thing. The president said, you know, everybody has range anxiety unless we pay for the stations. They didn't build the stations, and they said the reason why, because there was no demand for them. When they looked out at people driving electric cars, there was not enough people to actually go to the stations. So, so Tyson, this has been tried already. Uh, not necessarily. I mean, some of these things are just coordinating actions. For example, mm. getting one type of uniform billing system for charging stations, kind of like what states have, have coordinated on Easy Pass okay. Highway Toll Lauren, systems. what do you think? Didn't we try this already? We did try this already, and I'll tell you one thing. You can't force manufacturers to put up charging stations for their employees. Every time the government gets involved in these things, you know what's going to happen? Yes, it's great for all the consumers, but people that don't buy those cars are going to be forced to pay for it in their taxes. I own a manufacturing company, and if I'm forced to put up plug-in stations for my employees to plug in during the day, the most expensive time to charge it, I'm going to charge it as a perk, as a benefit on your payroll. Mm. I can't afford to pay for all that, plus all the additional taxes that are coming from Obamacare, Obamacare and everything right. else. You can't keep taxing us. There's not going to be any jobs Yeah, there's not going to be any jobs and, left. And Tyson, what about we're that? Right. We're, let me tell you, consumers are already paying a huge tax in the form of high oil and gasoline prices. We now are a larger oil and gas producer than Russia. We're the number one oil and gas producer in the world, but prices are still high because it's, it's determined by uh, energy traders looking at Chinese demand. Anything that we can do to empower more and more consumers and small businesses but Tyson, to break I don't, free I don't from our oil true. addiction prices is going to the benefit pump, our prices economy of the in the pump long have run. been on a slide, and I think a lot of right. people are concerned about the fact that you would be subsidizing rich guys who own electric cars. I mean, so you subsidize right. these stations, and you're helping out everybody who had you know eighty thousand dollars to spend on a Tesla. Is that what we should be doing with our tax dollars, Actually, Lauren? These, what do you the, think? These initiatives. Hang on, let, these, let Lauren get in real quick. She sure. hasn't had much to say. Well, Go ahead, Lauren. Hi, hi, hydrogen cars to begin with, did have a lot of government investment into both GM and Ford. I've test driven the hydrogen cars and they were all ready to go and different administration came in and all that technology that all the manufacturers put in got shelved. So there's no infrastructure. Okay. Hydrogen's another great solution, but then we go ahead and take all the diesel fuel that we produce and we ship it to Europe because there's more profit in it because there's pressure okay. on the government from the gas companies to keep diesel away Tyson, from here. Tyson, real quick, so last word. Add, add more options. Okay, go ahead, Tyson, real quick. A absolutely. And, and this eight-state initiative includes uh, hydrogen uh, fueling stations but because diesel. generating electricity from hydrogen fuel cells is going to be the uh, uh, electricity okay. source of the I future. I think we solved it. We're done. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you. Just a little Friday fun here, a little Friday humor.